Despite the rain, friends and family gathered tonight to remember 21 year old Noah King, who was fatally shot January 15th in the parking lot of Roger Young Park. The neighborhood and areas nearby have been the site of frequent violence, once again sparking conversations about what it'll take to revitalize that community. Matt Mathias was at tonight's Take Back the Site vigil and spoke with community leaders who want to turn things around. Matt. Well, Jen, it was a somber night at Roger Young Park as family and friends wonder what it could take to stop the violence. As rain fell Monday evening, family, friends, and the community mourned and remembered the life of Noah King, who was killed on January 15th in Roger Young Park. Noah was a redhead <laughs> when he was born, so we knew he was going to have a, a fun, fiery personality. He was always a jokester and fun and witty and made us laugh. His accused killer, 25-year-old Michael Okrang, is facing several charges, including third-degree murder. The neighborhood along Buffalo Road has been plagued by violence, and community members are starting to take notice. Well, we know um, a common thing about poverty is crime. It's a symptom of poverty, and we've had far too much crime in this neighborhood. Horton says the Buffalo Road Revitalization Project is an effort to turn tragedy into triumph through human capital investment, as he looks to offer six after-school programs at the Burton School. But Horton says that the city needs to do more. We need a neighborhood plan to invest in all of our neighborhoods, not just downtown, not just the waterfront, not just on college campuses. The people of Erie and these inner city neighborhoods deserve to know that our tax dollars can be equitably spent. Horton knows that it's not something that can change overnight, but says that we need to start somewhere. It may not be instant change, but we deserve instant action. Horton hopes that with investments into the community, people may begin to feel hope once more. Jen. Matt Mathias in our control room tonight. Thank you, Matt.